Here we go. Welcome! When the Satrap asked us to entertain a party of honored guests, I was wondering who it might be. This is a lovely surprise, to say the least. By the way, I heard all about Kalzal from your friend Grahatia. I understand there was nothing that could be done, but I was heartened to hear he meant us no harm. I cannot thank you enough for dispatching the beasts. As the smallest token of our thanks, your food and drink tonight are... Mitra's treat. Speaking of which, what shall I start you off with? Ooh. No, no, we're gonna go for the spirits, everybody. We're gonna, we're gonna party, because there may not be a tomorrow. <laughs> As you wish, pray, join your friends, and I will bring you a drink. Thank you. Oh, Estidian, do you want to share a drink? I'm overdue for a good meal. I I know. Me and you both. <laughs> the threat here has been quelled, but our job's only just begun. I know I must eat to regain my strength, but between you and me, I don't have much of an appetite. Yeah, from what you've been through, I can see. Uh, forgive me for not waiting to make a toast. My throat was utterly parched. Everyone seems kind of down and out. Uh, how was your meeting with the Radiant? I would love to hear more. Well, you know what? I wonder if I can sit on this thing. Alright. Oh, I can't sit and talk to someone. Okay. Welcome back. Whatever did the Radiant want with you? Pray tell. Our allies have sent military delegates? That's news to me. Mind sharing the details? So it seems like the entire world is being plagued. That's why. <laughs> so blasphemies now plague all the realm. Yes. It will only get worse if what Father said is true. As it did in Amarot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if that's our model. Then shouldn't we expect the effects to grow more severe as it feeds off its own spread? As if people transforming into those monstrosities wasn't bad enough. If the flora and fauna, if the land itself turned against us. Bad. No one would survive. No, no one would survive. Here's your order, friend. May you find comfort in these dark times. Where do we go from here? Um, that's a good question. If there's one thing we've learned, fighting blindly and simply reacting to what comes will accomplish nothing. Yep. We must find a solution that addresses the fundamental cause. Before our strength is exhausted, before this crisis spirals out of control. Is there something, anything we've overlooked? If there is an answer, Hydaelyn herself will have it. Twas she who bound Zodiac and forestalled the final days. Alas, we have heard naught from her since the Tower of Babel. Whether she cannot or will not speak, I can only speculate. Even the flower she gave us is no more. Yeah, maybe we need to go back to that place and pluck another flower. In our time, we called it Elpis. You would do well to remember the name. Why the name? What? So advised the Watcher. But what could be the significance of that name? It is entirely unfamiliar to me. Same. To me as well. 
It meant something to the ancients, though. In our time. Most surely. Yet I do not recall a single mention of it in the records of Anida. Another dead end. And quite literally. It's not as if there are any ancients living we could go and ask. There's one on the moon. Isn't the Watcher still there? Not alive as such, but not quite dead. Huh? Huh? Elidibus. Elidibus? What? I sealed him in the white oracite of the crystal tower back on the first. Oh, that's right. You did seal his soul away. So can we usher him in and talk to him? Contained within that reservoir of ether that maintains it, ether that is returned little by little to the sea, naught may remain of his soul. However, if part of it lingers, we might be able to speak with him there. Okay. I know we can no longer make that journey, but you, my friend, still can. Mm -hmm. It's worth a try. It would be an opportunity to look in on the others as well, if there is truly no other way. Uh, I mean, I would like to see Rain and the others, but I mean, we're kind of kind of pinched for time, aren't we? It's worth a try. Yes. We can but act and hope for the best. Okay. If nothing else, should we learn the first is safe, we'll have that much more reason to keep fighting the good fight. Oh, he's worried. He's worried about Reen. That said, the odds are not in our favor, to say the least. Which is why we're fortunate to have Uriange up there on the moon, working hard to make all the necessary preparations for our departure, should it come to it. And why we have nothing to lose by staying the course till the last instant. Indeed. To the last, let us all do what we can. I will consult with Master Matoya and see if she knows of a way to reach Hydaelyn from the Ethereal Sea. Yup. And I will visit the nation's leaders and attempt to ascertain how far the final days have progressed elsewhere. Okay. Keep me abreast of your findings. I can seek out and slay the worst of the immediate threats, if only to slow the spread. Yes, you can. Because you're a super dragoon. Unease, terror, despair. Try as we might to suppress them, these emotions will return to Harrius time and time again. But when they do, remember this. Your friends and loved ones are out there somewhere, sharing in your struggle. You are not alone. So ends the brief respite before the next revelation. The next revelation? Come on, Emma. Yes. So much left for you to see. I'm scared. Where beginning ends, and end begins. No. Oh, I really don't want anything bad to happen. Oh, Lord. Now then, is there anything we've forgotten to mention? Are your arms and armor a good order? I mean, I guess so, yeah. In that case, it's time we each attend to our tasks. And when you arrive on the first, give my regards to Reen. Tell her I miss her. I will. I promise. Beasts and blasphemes may be running amok in nearby lands outside the influence of Razahan and the Alliance. If so, I may need to go hunting. <laughs> it's true. 
The final day so far has the phenomenon spread, and how does it manifest itself in each land? I must reach out to my friends in each nation and find out all I can. Ah! Well, I suppose I do feel better on a full stomach, after all. Burning skies, blasphemes, not if I've got anything to say about it. If the form truly has been spurred to action by Hydaelyn's prophecy, then, then is it n not odd that the Anti-Tower was entrusted to Master Matoya, who bears them no love. No doubt she has a reason for this, and I would know what it is. The Anti-Tower. That's true. I didn't think about that. Alright. What are you going to give me? Take this, Chesna, my spirit vessel. What? Empty now, of course, but it should allow you to operate the tower systems and the um, umbilicus. If even the smallest fragment of Elidibus's essence remains, it should be possible to locate it. As for access to the umbilicus, pray seek out Lena for assistance. Chances are she still stands watch at the uh, ancestor gate. Should she or anyone else ask after me, tell them I am living my life to the fullest, that I am happy, hardships and all. Okay. Well, we had best be on our respective ways. God's willing, we will see each other again ere long. I hope so.